ain't personal, Athena. It never is. I don't know you, but you really ought to run. This is Vault Hunter business. Ain't no reason for you to get caught in a crossfire. <laughs> Unless you're holding a lot of sweet loot anyway. Nobody shoots at my friends, asshole. <laughs> don't worry, you'll get used to it. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. What the hell? Nice games! Hey! So people are still trying to kill us. What do we do? Other than get killed. I assume that option is off the table. Help us! Cake and your new leg thingies just get us out of this somehow! Dunno, maybe. Looks like the cavalry's here, asswipe. Time to go! <laughs> No, you don't! <laughs> Later, jackass! Enjoy <laughs> the flight! This is gonna be bad. Here comes the pain train! Woo -woo! Ah, you 
me in my pinky toe. Come here! <laughs> I never thought of you as the caring type, Athena. kill you. You hear me? Not today, little girl. Not today. Wait. Where's Vaughn? I... I don't know. Vaughn? Vaughn! When you have to get rid of a vault hunter, just bring in two vault hunters. You boys got everything? Yes, ma'am. Liv will be real happy to see this wretched piece of assassin trash hauled in. You needed Athena as much as I needed her out of my hair. I'm glad we were able to help each other out. Do you feel that, Athena? Now, it's over. That is one scary lady. Quiet, amigo. You want her to hear you? So, where's the last piece, little one? We have a vault to summon. Leave her alone. Tell me where it is before more of your friends get hurt. Starting with this hunk of scrap right here. Okay. Okay. It... It's there. On Helios. darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components gave the former middle manager the chance to quietly reach an accord with the demented ghost of Hyperion past. The dream of the vault 
seemed closer than ever. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the Borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take revenge, I made a foul. the con artist intervened. That was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie. And their first job was likely to be their last. We should find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This Endless march down memory lane. There's gotta be a reason for it. Obviously to torture me. Torture you? Someone forcing me to be around you this long can only be described as torture. Hey, you're no peach to be around either. <sighs> I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. <sighs> I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? <sighs> I seriously doubt that. Don't be stupid. He has a gun. So? He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That hasn't helped. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, zigzag when you run, okay? It uh, makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's, it's genius. All right. Going on three. One. Two. Three, go! That's a weird way to run. He's zigzagging. It apparently makes him harder to hit. Of course. What the hell was that? I don't know. Meteor shower. Get to the shelter. What's that? Uh, this again. Clearly, I can't trust you two. But I didn't even run! And that's why you're still conscious. So, you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up. <gasps> hey! Stop it! Please! Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, boss. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with him. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. 
Gordas. Hey, look at me. It'll be all right. Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the vault and hold it here. Then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <sighs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. You hurt anyone. That's what. Leave her alone. You can't blame yourself. Athena made her own bed. Where did they take Athena? It seems Lilith and the Crimson Raiders have some questions for her. For what? Your friend has a long list of heinous things she has to answer for. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. You don't buy any of this bullshit, Fiona. This is not a negotiation. What's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, for starters. <gasps> things like this will stop happening. Does that work for you? Or do you think we should negotiate more? Hey! What's it gonna be, Fiona? Don't give in. I I'm fine. Hey, you said you wouldn't hurt anyone. No, I said I didn't want to hurt anyone that cooperates. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes, okay, we'll work for you. But we get a cut. Oh, mm. that ain't a good idea. You're seriously asking for a cut while I have a knife in your sister? Clearly, I should phrase that differently. We'll discuss terms when you get back. Okay. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, You shouldn't have given in. Shut up. What the hell is wrong with you two? We've got principles. Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. I'm telling you, it's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, this isn't the first time we've had to get creative. We'll we'll find a rocket okay, booster. Okay, okay, oh, I'm come loving on. your optimism. You're saying I know we... what we have to do. Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordas's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you'd stop being so negative, maybe we could How's make your tum tum there, buddy? That'll one. teach you to hit the I taco do, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. <sighs> wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should there bottle the so stuff. Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill down. No, no, I'm sure there's, there's greatness the in there so somewhere. We just fault? just gotta keep looking. The one forcing us to go on a Actually, I could use your help. Yeah, of course you could. Great. 
Real help. Is that a yes you or no? Reality. What? You I think old Jack would leave his meat buddy is, hanging? We don't have a choice. I Valerie's kind of got us stuck into a corner. Don't answer that. You don't think I know so that? So listen, I hate to be the bearer of good news here, okay, but if there's one, one thing you know we about me, know. it's that I'm a collector <laughs> you know, of my rival's top secret project. What's your solution? Then? That's why I'm going to share this juicy know, little tidbit with you. But I know we have to do this. Once upon a time, a few of my guys bought yeah, borrowed an Atlas shipment that contained parts for one of their top secret projects. You've got the beacon. And about a zillion other Atlas gizmos, too. That's the best tech in town right there. Especially their freaking guns. Oh, man. I got, I got this one with a fist attachment. So you can literally punch someone in the face before you shoot them. Yeah, what I'm saying is this. I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're going to do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Uh, I believe I have some information that is relevant to your interests. The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do! See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reed the location data now. Well, let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. Man, how many people you gotta kill to get an office like that? Billions. And I think that's rounding down on Jack's murder count. You better believe that place is under lock and key and laser booby trap. I get that you're scared. Okay, I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a... spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him any time. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss. And then it's off to Helios. Come on! Before we dock, I'll tell Abed we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. Yeah, it'll work. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the Hub of Heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. And for the grand finale, I'll digestruct a vast skies. But 
Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So, I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell him, princess. You'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it. You'll only make things way worse. Well, it took me a minute to search my memory files, but boom, what do you know? It was right there all along. Huh. Sounds... Technology. Gotta love it. Reese, if there's something you need to get off your chest, we're listening. You gotta admit, you were acting pretty strange after we got out of the security office. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, we need to know you're 100%. Which you're clearly not. We're worried about you. Yeah, it definitely seems like something's up. Here's why you don't need to worry. Because we're friggin' Team Awesome! And August, that's why. Together, nothing can stop us. Eh? Bring it in. For the real thing, let's hug it out. Um, don't no. look at me. I'll kill you. G go team! <laughs> All right, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. And I've heard stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan. It's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Just be honest. He likes us, and he's a he's a decent guy. Yeah, I mean, he'll probably jump at the chance to build something cool, right? Ha! It's our living, breathing friend Fiona, looking as fresh in her new duds as any gentle lady I ever seen. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, ha <laughs> ha. Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or, oh shoot, uh, like racing's just in your veins, is all I'm saying. I'll shut up. Scooter, great to see you. Just an absolute pleasure. Every time I get to see your face, just, mm. Go on. <laughs> nah, you don't have to go on. I know my face is about as appealing as a dead dog. Somebody whacked a few times with a tire iron until it popped. But anyway, it's great to see you. What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing. No, it's, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't either. Uh, we want to even like open your mouths and make with the wording so I can I can shut mine. I mean, my uncle always said never open your mouth. I is that it, Scooter? We are going to space. What? I love space. It's like my fourth favorite thing. Behind tacos, trucks, and heavy eye contact. That all sounds great. Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it. Oh, wait. When I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two. Because, look, I know a lot about cars, and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh... She's a little out of sorts. I don't know if she's in much shape to help with the rocket stuff. She's been like that since she heard about a couple vault hunters nabbed her girlfriend out in the tundra. Athena? Oh, you know Athena? Man, small world. 
Yeah, we were there when it happened. Fiona was the last one with her. Then I don't know, maybe you could talk to Jenny, let her know what's what. Set her mind at ease if you can. That's a nice bike. You make that yourself? I did. It was gonna be a present for Athena when she got back. Oh. Yeah. Oh. She lied to me. Said she was on some delivery run. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I recognized your voice when you came in. You were out there with her. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she wasn't on a delivery job. Why would she lie to me like that? Why would she leave? She was... training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. It doesn't make sense. She can't... Damn it. She was saving my life. Valerie threw two Vault Hunters and her entire gang at Athena, but she held them off. She only surrendered to stop them from killing me. Your girlfriend is a hero. <laughs> I know. Ha ha ha. This is kind of awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on! You just got I just want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she... say anything about me? Before they took her. The way she acted, sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. Like maybe I was just a fluke or something. Hell, you don't need to hear this. Sorry. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh. Goodness. Okay. Oh. Wow. Young lady, you are gonna have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm gonna grab every gun I can carry, I'm gonna drive out of here, I'm gonna rescue my girlfriend, and I'm gonna marry the piss out of her. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo. But beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh man, that sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that, it would be like just, just wow. What do you say, ladies? Scooter, want to come with? Be our onboard mechanic? You mean it? Whoa, space buddies! Alright, here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. Okay, I get it. Off you go. Alright, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not. Crap our but you ah. are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reeds. It's well, it's huge. Two out of three ain't bad. Uh, you know what? It's probably not a bad idea to get uh, a little dumpy rocking for some robo scouting. Yeah, yeah. Let the shiny toaster get blown to nuts and bolts instead of us. Dumpy, I need you to go scout out ahead. Can you do that? Uh, that doesn't fill me with confidence. Dumpy, over there. Look at Dumpy go! And do nothing!
Ah, back here again. Thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. Yeah, you better run. Hey. Ah, oh, really? That's it? I thought he'd be like, I don't know, helpful. Or at the very least, an unwitting psycho decoy so we can escape with our faces intact. Nope. Just a tiny, floating shittiest. You see? I told you so. Wallet head. All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. Face! Face is face! Has no face! Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A skin pizza? Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh. What were the pepperonis? A skin pizza. Oh, you clearly uh, haven't I been can't. on Pandora mm -hmm. long enough, compadre. Uh -huh. Let's find Vasquez's face. Mm. And get out of here. You're the boss. You know what? Not to blow up your ego, kid, but... I see a real future for you at Hyperion. It's kind of future where two like-minded masters of their own fates could deal some serious damage. Huh? If you do as I say, Hyperion may even name a ship after you someday. The SS Jack's Apprentice. Cool, right? Yeah, screw Hyperion. I'm only going back because I need to get the beacon. Then I'm gone. I won't need them anymore once we've opened the vault. Hey, check you out. Now you're thinking like Handsome Jack. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a little freaky, actually. You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission, huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what? Well, looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. Uh, how am I gonna find Vasquez's face in all this mess? That's what an echo eyes for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you want to get up close and physical with some new psycho pals. Oof, disturbing. Not Vasquez's face disturbing, but still disturbing. Glad I wasn't invited to this pizza party. You and me, Pumpkin, let's rock this walk. Whoa, this place is scaring me and I'm a frickin' hologram. Uh, careful now, I don't want to end up psycho dinner. Disturb huh? sleep pattern? Oh, flawless! Not now. Interrupt Rem Psycho! Dumpy, attack! Need rest. Big day tomorrow. Swat metal buck. Thanks, Dumpy. Oh. Yeah. Right back at you. Oh, little baby butt did good. Electroshock therapy. I like that. that that's that's classy. Gonna use that little shock around my ex-girlfriend. Okay, listen up, because I'm about to compliment you. No one ever became a leader without dirtying their hands. Oh, you're gonna get Hugo McSwoopy Hair's face back, no problem. Next stop, Hyperion, baby. Nope. Well, this is a fun night. Huh. 
kind of looks like my ex-girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. Oh, looks like we found our psycho. You only see this kind of thing on Pandora. Get me back to Helios, Reese. Pretty please. With strippers on top. We got this. Oof, that is one ugly mug. Um, where... where am I gonna put it? Cram it in your pocket, I don't know. I, I can't mess up his face or the Digistruck won't work. Off, like a bandage. Quick and painful. Oh. Mmm. Okay. Just peeling it off. Peeling off the face. Not going to barf into his mouth. <laughs> With your mouth. <sighs> That's it. Go on. Peel off that face like a serial killer. You're sick. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, it's stuck. Mm -mm. Oh, God, that's so... That, that is just the, the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh, God, oh. I can't stop now. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh pinch it off. Just pinch it oh, off. Right seriously? Oh, please don't do it. Please, please, please don't do this to me. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Smash the baby's face! Crunch its teeth! <laughs> Run! You're the only one running, pal! I can fly! Well, once I snatch that face pizza, gross, I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no, thousands of psychos chased me. Oh, really? That many? Couldn't even count them all. You were too busy trying to save face. Technically, it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of which could... So, one. One, yeah. Psycho with chest bomb. Boom! You said something about a bomb, Psycho? Oh, yeah. There. <laughs> Whoa, wait, dude! Oh, we were supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it, babe. It's just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. <laughs> 